Hello everybody, this is Ty, and welcome to the next episode of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet playthrough, guys. Today, we are battling. We are battling champion Nimona. We are here, and I think, I think this is going to finish up the gym quest line, and then we'll have all three quest lines done any second now. Ah, there you are, Ty. This doesn't fit her voice. <laughs> My voice is too deep for that. Because uh, all these folks here seem ready to watch. Word got round, I guess. Oh, look at everybody. And out of every single person gathered here... Um, I'm the most excited by a mile. Come on, Megan Markle, let's do it. Look at Larry in the background. <laughs> the stage is set. It's my all-out power. Versus your strength in full fruition. Let's see who comes out on top. I like the cutscene graphics. The cutscene graphics are very good. Alright, who are you going to send? I have Squawkabilly up front still. <laughs> I still have Squawkabilly up front. Let's see what happens. Like, oh, that is not what I want to see. <laughs> that is not what I want to see with Squawkabilly up front. Alright. Um, it's going to Excel Rock me if I stay in. But I don't really have anything. Oh, but I got Intimidate. Do I have anything I can switch out into to take an Excel Rock? King Gambit can do it, right? All right, an Intimidated Excel Rock shouldn't hurt me too bad. A Shiny King Gambit. Oh, it's Stone Edged. I mean, that's fine. It got a crit, of course. I expected an Excel Rock, though. See that crit? I clinched that. Did Was that a scripted crit again? She's gotten so many scripted crits before. Drill Run. Bro. Another crit? How do you like my real heart? Hey, stop. Stop scripting your crits, man. I don't want to see no scripted crits out here. Do you think I helped teach you? You did not help teach me type matchups. I knew them before I battled you. Don't take your credit for my success. All right. Pawmot. I have one of those. Um, but I don't think Pawmot versus Pawmot is a great idea. Let's go Tinkaton. <laughs> I don't think Pawmot versus Pawmot is a great idea. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I get actually. I well, does Electric resist flying? I think it does. So sending out Squawkabilly wouldn't have been a great idea. Pawmot should have Volt Absorb, not Static, so we can fake out. Nice. And then it's it's honestly Pawmot is really weak. I think a Play Rough might take it out. All right, double shock. Yep, that's a big move. You use up all your electricity. Play. Oh, come on. Tink a ton. Why? All right, it's going to take me out. Ah. Okay, that's messed up, man. <laughs> that's messed up, man. Crazy. Okay, my question, I guess, is who's faster? My Palmot's at 181. Yeah. Okay, that Palmot's going to be faster than Squawkabilly, I think. Wow, that's rough, man. It's going to be faster than anything. I guess I'll send out my own Palmot. It's not electric type right now. So I think I'm going to... What's more? This or... Okay, I'm going to double shock it myself. Oh, it has Volt Absorb. I'm such a dummy. I'm such a dummy. Oh, that's rough, man. That's rough. Okay, it has two defense drops, actually. It's two defense drops. Yeah, okay. Ho oh, ho, I am such a dummy. I have Volt Absorb. How did I not realize that? Uh, Man, this uh, battle is rough already. <laughs> this battle is rough already. Orthworm. Oh, Steel Ground? I think... Let's go out into King Gambit, who's going to get a power boost from two of my Pokemon being fainted. And let's heal him up, maybe? I don't know if he's going to be faster than an Orthworm. 
That's an interesting Pokemon to have. Okay, what are you? Oh, you're just straight up steel. I want to heal. I want to heal with a Hyper Potion. That's not going to get me to full health, but... It's a good amount of health back. I'm surprised the trainers don't use heals in this game. Body press. Wow. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. You just used the four times on me. I guess I should have brick bricked when I had the chance. Okay. Penelope it is, then. And I think we just terastalize Penelope while we're here. I'm going to terastalize it uh, or, or torch song it. Honestly, Penelope best starter, I feel like, for like against the gyms and stuff. I feel like Penelope is the best. Oh, it one shots. I like it. I like it. Hopefully she doesn't have a water type coming out. Uh a Gudra. Which is a water type, by the way. Let's go into Max Caliber. I think I can one shot Gudra with uh my glaive. Potentially. But if I don't, it's gonna KO me, so I better hope. <laughs> I better hope. Oh, Gudra's tanky, though. Let's Dragon Claw it. Oh, we one-shot with Dragon Claw. Okay, we're good, we're good. Gudra is more specially defensive, I think. So, that's good. <laughs> Dedun Sparse! I just evolved one of my Dedun Sparses to get Dedun Sparse in my decks, and yeah, it's great. <laughs> Look at that thing. Okay, does the Dunsparce just normal type? Straight up normal type. Okay, we Dragon Claw. Nice. He Dragon Rushes. Interesting. You have Dragon Rush. And then I Glaive Rush, I think. Nice. And then we, from here, we switch out back into Penelope. And take on the Meowskarata. Let's do it. We're still terastalized. She's going to terastalize, but that's okay. I should be able to one-shot with Overheat. Although, if Meowskarata is faster, Meowskarata probably has a Dark-type move, I'm realizing. Because it is Grass Dark, so that's a little sketchy. Alright. Let's Overheat. Shine blazingly bright, my greatest treasure. I like Miascarada a lot. Definitely Fuecoco or Skeledurge, then Miascarada, then the last thing. Or the water type one. The water type one's really funky. <laughs> really funky. Alright. Thunder Punch. Interesting. You're gonna get a scripted paralysis? No, you're not. Alright. Nice, let's go! We beat her, and I think that will finish the quest, I'm hoping. <laughs> no, there's eight more gyms for you to do. They're all level 100 with six Pokemon. Oh, are you crying? Don't cry. I'm an amazing trainer. You don't got to cry. Oh, the suspense. Why am I so close to her all of a sudden? You. You did it! This is legit incredible. You're the strongest out there, Ty. I mean, you knocked me flat. I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... Oh my god, she's so excited. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Not a sore loser at all. Oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever even knew. Thanks for that incredible match. You beat me for real this time. I beat you for real all the other times. May I help you? That's a good uh, screenshot right there.
that's absolutely thumbnail material. <laughs> now let's give ourselves a minute and have a quick break, Ty. Before round two. Oh man, you're expecting round two already? Oof. Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions, decisions. See, that seems like the ending to the game. So I know it's not because we still have to go to area zero. But like that feels like the ending to the game. Like you should always do that last. Victory Road. Complete! We did it! We completed all the main quests. Roto to to to. Yo, Arvin here. Bow wow. Whoa, D down boy. Don't jump up like that. Seems like hearing your voice has old Mabo stiff here all worked up, Ty. Oh, but that's not why I called. Nearly forgot. You remember what we talked about before about going to Area Zero? Yes. C of course you do. You little know it all. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? Well, all the effort you've been putting in around Paldea has really helped you make a name for yourself. Built up some goodwill, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. That should have us ready to tackle anything. So now we've all just got to get there. First step, we'll be gathering at Area Zero. I'll be ready and waiting at the Zero Gate. I'll send you the location on your phone, too. Don't leave me hanging forever. Oh, look at that. We'll be waiting. Look at that. Awesome, 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 awesome. Save the game before it crashes. Beautiful. Let's put Penelope up front. And look at our team. Our team did it. Our team did it. That is awesome. Oh, let's go to the director's office. Uh, he obviously wants to say something to us. Something like, oh, I don't know. Here's your shiny charm. Okay. These Pokeballs and Great Balls are on the ground everywhere. I keep seeing them. So I think that's like a, a game design. Like they're using it while they're designing the game and then forgot to remove them. Anyways, a little weird. Hello, Clive. Thank you again for your outstanding work on Operation Starfall. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that we were able to uh, help Miss... Oh, you're still talking about this? Um, do you think you could continue being good friends with Miss Pen... Uh, yeah? You gonna give me something for this? <laughs> Are you gonna give me something for being somebody's friend? A big... I mean, okay. $10,000 will do it. I'll take... Ten I'll be somebody's friend for ten grand. You formed a close bond with Director Clavel. Aw. Okay, interesting. Oh, we got the gates open. These were closed before. Let's head over to Area Zero. Why not? Hey, over here. Oh, it's like a completely alien world. What the heck? This is the Zero Gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Baldea. What folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Maridon was born or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that I can finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. Penny and Nimona, let's go. The way home. Interesting. Fourth quest unlocked. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Nomona, didn't I just beat you? Hola, Ty. Arvin said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once she heard she'd get to battle awesome some Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in battle. <laughs> but more importantly, why is it so dark, and who are the awesome po or where are the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Oh, there it goes. Well, now the lights are on, but why? I, I turned them on. Penny! Seems like they were on power saving mode. Yeah, that's, that's a good mode to have, you know, power saving mode. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. 
Um, I guess my name's Penny. Well, hey, we never actually got to talk. I'm Nimona. I'm in class 1A. Must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? Holy crap, Nimona. Give it a rest. Irk, you talk like way too much. Agreed. Agreed. The director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny here also agreed in the second in the second when she heard she was to help Ty. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you, Ty, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me, Arvin. Okay. All right, guys. Biometric identification in progress. Hello, Ty. I have been expecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my dad. Probably. <laughs> Probably. What? That's Professor Turo? Nimona, student ID, Penny, thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person, exactly. She talks so much. Arvin, did you uh, tell your dad about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down to the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you can see to your right. All right, let's do it, man. Let's do it, man. Um, Dad? Please proceed below. Are they not in good terms? Must not be. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. We save. And we head down into Area Zero, the Great Crater of Paldea. Ooh. What's going to be down here? Is there going to be more stuff like Don Fan? Oh, by the way, I don't know if I included a clip or not, but I found Iron Treads, the Don Fan, the Titan that we battled, but in smaller form in that desert, in the same place we uh, defeated it. So that's pretty cool. And I did catch it. It took forever to catch, but I caught it. Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted to lower level. Ooh, it opened for us automatically. Not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you'll be above area zero. Ty, you have brought Mirai on with you? Of course. Can't get rid of it. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Maradon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. What? Isn't there like an elevator or something? And wait, did you say Maradon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I'll get in touch once again. Hope your trip is uneventful. I can't wait to see what Pokemon lived down there. Let's go. Wait, am I supposed to carry all of you? How? how? Maradon can't carry all of you. I mean, whatever. Let's do it. Let's do it. You can't ride Marada. What are you talking about? It said ride Marada on. What do you mean? Ty, ready for the worst? Yep. Good. That's all we needed to hear. Get the, out that Pokemon and we'll be off. Are they all going to get on Marada? It's not even going to show it, is it? Oh, no. Maybe. Oh, that's crazy. Aw, uh -huh. what's the matter? Scared of heights? No, dog, we jumped off some crazy things. Well, no wonder. No need to be scared if we go together. It's not scared of heights. We've jumped off the tallest cliff. Oh my god, they're pushing him. Get on! Uh-oh. 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 Let's go! Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, hold on, please. There we go. Okay, cool. Thanks, Arvin. Appreciate it, bud. Whoa! Oh, look at that. Place is kind of nice. Generally, a crater means that it's a volcano, though, right? <laughs> kind of sketchy. Where'd Nimona go? And now I'm back here again. I think I might have died once or twice there. What's wrong? Shot. Into the Pokeball. It chose to go back into its ball? It's probably just hungry or something. 
Wait a second. Where's the student council girl? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Where'd she go? She was sandwiched between two people. How? How? Oh, no. She's here. Okay, we're good. Zero Zero is amazing. Come on already. I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? Biometric identification for humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Vital signs all within normal range. Uh, okay. Interesting. I had concerns you might fail given the crudeness of the only available access method. I think your dad's sarcasm detection needs fixing. <laughs> uh, yeah, he kind of sounds like a robot, right? Hmm. Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Uh, at each station, you'll be able to disable one of the locks. Do it so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. He sounds very robotic. Yeah, exactly. Video gamey. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, Frigoraph! Well, immediately you see a Frigoraph, which I've already evolved the giraffe again to, so I don't need to go catch it, but... Alright, I'm gonna go explore. I'll be back with you guys. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh, there's a satellite up there, too. Oh, yeah, what are they called? Radish... What? Research stations. Okay. Uh, wow, you have such a great memory. Okay, man. You, uh, it might have talked too much. Oh! Hey! I want it! That's a Pokemon That's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know the species can be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Ty, let's take it on together. No, we don't got to take it on together. I want to catch it. No, I want it. That's such a cool Pokemon. I love it. I'm catching it. No! Oh my god, you are not taking this thing out. Wait, I don't... It might not even let me catch it anyways. I may... No, it won't. Quite unfortunate. It's not going to let me catch it. Alright. Use Stone Edge or something and KO it. Oh, I love that ability. I love that ability, dude. He... Oh. Alright. Alright. I wanted to catch it, but whatever. They look too far recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for the surveying Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Ty, if you'd be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. Yeah, I can do that. You want to press the button? Yes. <laughs> yep, press it. Lock disabled. Well done. Please continue your efforts. Alright. Uh, What? A deli bird. That's not a deli bird. What is... <laughs> Robot deli bird? Uh, how you doing? Uh, so cute. So not a real deli bird. Uh, can I catch it? I couldn't catch the last one. Can I catch this one? Iron Bundle. Called the Iron Bundle. Interesting. Dark Pulse. Alright. Well, it should be pretty easy to take out now. Nice. I didn't check to see if I could catch it. I'm assuming I can't until later on. Oh, dude. Did you see its neck? What the heck? That was crazy. Its neck just went whoosh. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. 
It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for Delibird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. Huh? What's that book? As we descended further into Area Zero, we began catching glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. I think I already read that, didn't I? Um, I did already read that. Hmm. What do you think? I think they really are just Pokemon. I don't know. Oh, we, we're getting an explanation. Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in a distant day we have yet to see. Future Pokemon? What? That's awesome. Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The, the Zero Lab, where I'm located, contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here, he actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine, you mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It is theoretically possible to travel to the future. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Dad, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arv and I... It's poss if possible, I'd like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It'll be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation. He's probably in a computer. Please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lap. He's probably literally like a computer or something. It's going to be weird. You know that book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one he expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you, you should be the one to carry it. Alright, I'll take the violet book. Let's go. All right, another research station. And another Pokemon that's gonna pop out. Huh? Oh! Hey, I already caught one of those. It's Iron Tread. It's just like the Titan Pokemon we saw. It is, and I already caught one, so it's a future Pokemon all along. Whoa, you battled one of these before? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Ty and I are, are old pros when it comes to the Titans. Leave it, leave it to... Oh, man, I can't talk. <clears throat> I can't talk, but I'm going to take care of this thing. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? You feeling rough, Penny? Mm, oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine, the Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the future. So what about Maridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's one of those future Pokemon? Yeah. It's all metal. Huh. I think you're onto something. It is kind of giving off future vibes. Even its name sounds futury. Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin, you had Maridon's ball and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Uh, you still remember that from way back? Guess I got no choice in it but to tell you what That Pokemon to ride on, that is, it was found by my dad when he was working on his time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor, Maridon, which I entrusted to Ty, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Seriously? Through analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact a futuristic form of Cyclizer the Pokemon commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Maridon. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally re be reunited with our Maridon. A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If we could proceed, Ty?
Wow. Very colorful. I like it. Oh my gosh, look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals. They go all the way to the bottom. I can't wait to be able to ride Maridon and actually search this place <laughs> without having to be on foot. Oh, good call. Watch your step. So the person's down there somewhere waiting for us. And that's fine. Totally fine. All right, team. Watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. Whoa, what are you? Metal Hydreigon? Yo, Metal Hydreigon. That's dope. Iron Jugulus. Ooh, this one has a bunch of crystals in it. Well, what happened? This place is a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. God, Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again? Oh, it's it's messing up. It's The computer's messing up. Children, children, children. Initiating restart. The presser must be having some, some weird connection problems or something. Uh, well, it was definitely weird at least. Almost like, I don't know. If he meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I still got goosebumps and all. Um, yeah? That button still works. Interesting. All locks disabled. Okay. Ah, hello. Can you hear me now? Please f f forgive my previous transmission. There was some signal interference. That's not what it was. What do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way to the, to the Zero Lab. Ooh. Getting spooky here. Getting spooky here. Ooh. Big crystal tower. Oh my god, it's covered. Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it. Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are for real? <laughs> yeah, right. That's just fluff. They write to fill textbooks. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. Oh, you know what? I wonder if his consciousness is in a computer, but he's in the future. That's why he said a human can't get back from the future. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building has been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. Professor implied something important about... Uh, Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab should now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely break, make a break for freedom. That sounds like a problem. With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. You got me and Ty here. Doesn't matter what we're up against. We'll be fine. Ah, huh, well then. That puts all my worries to rest. And that puts us at the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We are going to continue this quest next episode. So keep my notification bell on. Subscribe and like if you made it this far in the video. I really appreciate it. Everybody have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.